And now we're commando style back to the campsite. that dude perfectly balanced. And now we're commando style back to the campsite. So what we're going for is we want a vertical split. We want to split the log in two so I have two pieces. Now the important thing is you want a nice straight log. You don't want something wonky. You don't want something with knots all in it. and taper the ends now into a nice fine V shape. Nice V tapered down here at the bottom. It's almost even. I can live with that. Let's make three more and we'll be in business. All right, so this is what you're going for. Nothing fancy. We have four of these. Just find the hardest wood possible. Oak, hickory, maple, whatever you have and use that. If you don't have that, you're kind of out of luck and use what you have on hand. Now there's an easy way and a hard way, and on my channel we tend to do things the hard way because, not because I want to, but because that's the cards that fate deals me. If you have a log with a natural crack that goes all the way down, you put the wedge in the crack, hit it a few times and it will naturally split in half. You see it's already starting to open up. In that case you can grab another one, stick it right next to it. want to get another one there you could do that as well but this is the idea of what we're going to do on that green board we'll try to get it to crack in half just like that we don't have that this is leftover crap from when a storm came through here I cut down a bunch of trees with a chainsaw because they were blocking trails and things like that. So it's relatively green. We have to make our own cut. So I'm gonna take an ax, we're gonna start in the front, and I'm gonna smack it a few times to try to split it, and then we're gonna find the halfway point. I'll make several hits in there, and then wherever the ax hit, we'll put a wedge in there and go to town. You see it's opened up here a good inch. And we're down to a, probably three eighths right here on this one. I'm gonna hit this one a few more times and then we're gonna swap these out. That crack is actually traveling exactly where I want it to be. You can actually hear that wood splitting right now. So we're gonna take this one out. We're gonna move it right into here and just keep on going, swapping them out until we get to the end. And ladies and gentlemen, there we go.
Today, if you further wanted, if you wanted to split this in half again, you just do the exact same thing. We're going to go ahead and start off right here and find the halfway point, and then just get a nice crack in it right here. As you see, just in doing that, it's already opened up. Then we just place our wedges inside there, just like last time. So I'm splitting right down the middle, and we'll place another one right here to free up that one. And then we'll do it again right here. And voila. There you go. Place another one right there. All you're doing is you're walking down the board. See how that one's freed up? Put it right there. And then it frees up that one. And if you wanted to, you could take it down even further and create primitive boards. Just get all the excess off of here. I mean, we're not making Home Depot 2x4s, but you could flatten these things out for a table or a chair. So we'll flatten it out a little bit with this draw knife. So here's my primitive 2x4, and here's a garbage one that I had from a leftover build. About the same size. Obviously that one's been milled, but I mean this is close. Good enough for out here. I'm happy. Those of you that follow my channel, especially since May of this year, you know that I'm an affiliate for Hardcore Hammers. And I've been really pushing this survival hatchet by Hardcore Hammers. I love this thing. I, I'm in love. Um, and here's why. And I've said this several times, but somehow there's still mass confusion and it's probably mass confusion with individuals that just don't listen or want to cause problems. It works for me because of the construction aspect to it. My channel, I don't just stand on my porch or in my shed or in my backyard and just talk about things or talk about what you could do. I actually go out there and show you what can be done. And I've done that for several years especially these past four and a half years or four years, sorry, of my solo overnighters and 14 years of my channel. I go out there and I do things. I build structures. I do stuff. So the benefit of this hammer is it is basically a construction hammer that can be used as a hatchet as well. So they combine the two. It's a survival hatchet. And that's exactly what it is. We have this waffle cone uh, recessed cup right here that when you strike a nail, it keeps the nail inside here instead of creaming off. Those that do not do construction work and just do home repairs, I'm sure you've seen you know, the rounded hammers. You hit them and the hammer wants to fly everywhere, or you see that spark that happens off of it. This keeps the nail inside that recess cup. Um, it's a waffle cone design. It's patented with hardcore hammers, and I enjoy that. The end of it here, this is so sharp. I've only sharpened it maybe once. And it has a notch here, like construction hammers, to pull out nails or screws. But what else can you do? You can pull out uh, tent stakes as well. We have the holidays coming up, and Hardcore Hammers has authorized me to give you basically 30% off the survival hatchet. So what you want to do is use this code right here. Go to the website. Check it out. Read the specs. 
Read its design intent. If you're happy with it, give it a shot. Now, along with that, you're going to want some accessories. And one of them is this belt loop axe holder. It works on all the hammers. It works on regular hammers. But what I like the most about it is the loop here is large enough to fit over my military web belt for my military harness. And now I can carry the axe with me wherever I go on the side of my belt. Now we talked about sharpening. Hardcore Hammers makes a hockey puck sharpener. It's coarse on one side, smooth on the other. You get those nice circles on there and then refine it. I even take it a step further and put on a leather strop and go back and forth. Keeps it razor sharp. Comes in this leather case that can be placed on your belt as well. You're gonna want one of these to go with that hatchet. Finally, we have this tool loom, and it's just that. It cleans off rust. Those that were the military think of CLP, clean, lube, and protect. That's exactly what this does. It's going to keep it nice looking. It's going to keep it shiny. It's going to put a nice glaze on it so if it starts to rain or there's dew outside, it won't rust up on you. And if you have light rust, it takes it right off. Just rub it on there in a circular fashion and wipe it right off. Use a small plastic brush if you want. But this stuff smells good and it works great. Now, like all the rest of my gear, I use it for several months. I've used this for about six months now, and it's been in several videos. I don't want to say every single one, but probably close. Probably a good 90% of my videos since May. I'm sold on this. And the fact that they're going to give you an additional 30% off for the holidays, for Black Friday, for today, all the way through Monday, using this code CCBF23. Once again, CCBF23. I would jump on it. That comes out to around 40 bucks. So you're going to get this thing for about $40 cheaper than what it would normally cost you. So those that couldn't afford one, now's your chance. Those that want to get one for somebody for Christmas, now's your chance. Once again, it has my logo on it, and it represents my brand, what I do, and who I am. And I appreciate every single one of you that purchased one of these and those that are going to. And I'll make this extremely easy for you. The Hardcore Hammers link can be found inside my video description box. So with that, let's go ahead and end this bad boy off. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate page, and two, my Etsy store. Both links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.